I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Uh, this is not the best build, I'll be honest with you, and some of the stuff I'm going to get wrong. Feel free to comment down below what I got wrong or what I missed or any anywhere you want to uh, offer advice and improve. You know, I, I opened that discussion for you guys. I've been using him for quite some time. He's been my favorite champion, not just because he loves his wife, but because he's helped me to place plat. Uh, he's awesome in live arena basically anywhere pvp he's gonna be king pve content you're looking at scarab king he's able to destroy the enemy max hp taking that sh that stone skin shield off hydra i've been able to get new personal bests with him because in hydra he just does millions and millions of damage especially on norm and and hard everywhere you bring him he's gonna do well i wanted to share my build with you guys but before that his skills a1 25% chance of granting an extra turn. So I know a lot of people like to build him in relentless gear for that back-to-back -back, back shots. He also has a chance of placing the decreased defense and that's pretty nice to have, especially for PVE content. His damage is going to be based off of attack and HP. I'll dive into that in a minute. I don't know it to uh, expert levels on how to explain it or articulate it, but I'll try to do my best. And as always, if you're watching this, Refer to the comments because there's going to be some big brains out there who are able to explain it a lot better than I can in in ways that I just don't fully comprehend because I don't know it well enough to be able to explain it to you guys at like the fifth grade level. And that's just, you know, it is what it is. I've had multiple people try to explain it to me, but it just doesn't really, I don't know what it is. I, I don't understand it. A2, able to strip that HP, supercharge himself. There's a lot of buildup when it comes to bringing Rotos to his max potential. This really helps. You could just place increased attack on him, but also why not get some extra HP on him because extra damage, more survivability. And then after charging up enough on his A2, up to 60 or 60k, then he can start blocking revives with his A3, which is his big money move here. Ignores 60% of the target's defense, going through the unkillable and block damage. Also grants an extra turn if the skill kills an enemy. Ash came out with a video on Rotos a while back talking about how when you go into the higher echelons of arena, a lot of players are going to have reaction gear, triple reaction gear. That's why you don't always want to start off with the big money move in his words you you kind of always want to start off with this a2 you know in my experience this is the case sometimes i've actually run into more cases where i don't especially in live arena where i don't go um toe to toe with a bunch of people in reaction gear where it would be better to just put rotos's a3 out instead of waiting for his a2 like when i'm going up against a leo for an example i don't run into too many leos that have reaction gear on them so it's a case by case basis where the a3 might supersede or make a make a better uh, choice be a better choice not make a better choice than the a2 but you know just something to be aware of spurn oblivion with this i was able to clear ice golem solo ice golem because obviously if you get hit he doesn't die in one hit and he gets an extra turn decreases damage from enemy hits any single hit doesn't exceed 50 percent of the ch uh, champion's max hp grants an extra turn if the damage reduction occurs doesn't work against bosses but it de uh, decreases the damage of bosses by 15 percent decreases by 30 percent if civvy's on the same team unfortunately on this account civvy's not on the on the same team did i mention this is a plus two fully blessed rotos because his a or not his a3 i was about to say his a6 his blessings crushing rend so what I was rocking before, Ward of the Fallen, because I saw Shiny had Ward of the Fallen on him. I know Phantom Touch is good for lower level blessings, like one to four, but I think even then Ward of the Fallen would be a good option. Soul Reap was what I was using when he was at five stars. And then I got uh, the six star most recently. And so Crushing Rend is going to help me ignore even more defense, 1% of every 10 levels of my enemy. Plus, you get all these extra stats at six stars. It's amazing. As always, do not blindly copy masteries, but go ahead and feel free to blindly copy these masteries. We are taking the normal offensive tree things. You could also take crit rate, which might be more preferred. But for me, I was just trying to reach the threshold or reach the certain uh, milestones with his attack. So I figured, why not just get more attack in? And I, I threw a Slayer Ring on him, which I'll show in, in a second, which gives me that 5%. It works out, but it's personal preference at that point. Life Drink is also another thing that you want to have if you're trying to do solo content, which is not what most people want to do with him. But again, personal preference. There's different ways you could go about this. I know a lot of people take Crit Rate. Uh, Ruthless Ambush is also a really good thing if you want to start out by nuking really hard uh, whirlwind of death is what i preferred with life trinker to you know help keep him alive and to go even faster every time he kills somebody and then cycle of violence to put that his skills on cooldowns or cooldown 
and then uh, obviously these here for extra damage and then taking helm smasher i know a lot of people take flawless flawless execution i honestly prefer to just put helm smasher on him to give him that extra ignore defense that's basically the name of the game and then with higher level players you want to go with the defense tree for even for your, your damage dealers we're taking uh, improved parry you know damage mitigation following this way for more damage mitigation removal of debuffs increasing the healing of the shields he receives plus extra counter i know that merciless is going to be better it's going to be the best because you can get 35% which is like the most amount of ignore damage that you can get from gear plus all this extra stuff increasing uh, the school down the uh, school down skills cooldown decreasing that I mean and then 15% chance of getting an extra turn which is insane but I don't have the gear to make him good enough with stats for me to warrant that exchange so right now he's just rocking OG Savage. Here are the specific pieces of gear. You're basically focusing on your damage stats. So your obvious crit rate, crit damage, speed, because if he if he's not going fast enough, there's no point. Right? If you're not if even if you hit really hard, if you're if you can't take a turn, it doesn't do anything for you. So here's where this is gonna get a little bit dicey and some of you guys are gonna, are gonna be like, oh, you know, this build is wrong. That's totally fine. I hear where you guys are coming from but and, and again i'm open to changing him out but but i don't even know if i'm gonna go out of my way to do it because i'm i'm, I'm feeling kind of like done with the game so even if you guys tell me hey you should do this i may or may not get around to doing it you know what i mean so you know just keep that in mind but i'm always open to hearing what you guys want to say crit damage i would prefer to have him using um extra crit damage but right now he's got hp which is totally fine because again gives him more survivability gives him more damage then we have hp on hp now some people are going to say put him in attack percent because his hp his base hp is really low right so i'm going to put that out right now not even 12k but basically 12k because his base hp is really low hp percent is going is not going to scale well ideally attack percent would be better with the way that he's currently set up almost 6k attack he's approaching that point of diminishing returns and so because he's approaching that point of diminishing returns i figured it would be better to channel those extra stats into hp versus attack but that's just the way that the gear i have works currently i'm rationalizing myself right now in case i'm making a mistake but as always i'm open to hearing what you guys want to say but for most people they're going to tell you attack percent and they're not going to be wrong but again personal preference and this is just what i found to be working uh, best for me i had him in attack percent before attack percent on attack percent and i don't really notice a difference that's just me personally and i'll talk more about that in a bit speed with the boots if you can get attack percent with speed on it ideally you'd want attack percent but you don't want him going too slow. If I if I change this to attack percent, I'm not going to have the gear to make him go fast enough. Here is the Slayer piece, the ring. We have attack flat with HP flat for the Ascension. We do have attack percent. Ideally, you would want HP flat and then HP flat here because of the base HP that I talked about with attack percent rolls on the ring and the banner. You want flat HP, but that's just the way that I currently have this gear. And I could rework it, but I don't have the Ascension dust for it and then crit damage on crit damage all right so when it comes to looking at his stats he's looking at 66k hp almost 6k attack it bothers me that it's not there but <laughs> you know what i mean it's just like it's four points away from 6k attack but you know i'm not going to stress over it right now 3300 defense you do want some defense on him you don't want to be completely uh, buck wild with with not having any defensive stats 253 speed i think it's pretty good 240 well let me back up 220 is kind of like the bare minimum I have for my nukers. The faster you go, especially for higher levels of live arena, you want to go faster. It's better to have more speed on him so you can take turns because some of these guys are, you know, having these stats. Well, sorry, better stats than this and almost 300 speed. It's crazy. We have 100% crit rate, 305% crit damage, and then res and accuracy don't matter too much. But yeah, so priority stats are always going to be attack, HP, speed crit rate crit damage for me as an end game player 5k attack 250 crit damage is what I'm, I'm looking for but hp plays a different role here with rotos the damage comes based off of hp and attack now people have like i've said tried to explain this to me i'm gonna try to explain it as best to you as i can if i can remember everything but the way that they've explained it to me is every single point of attack is equivalent of 10 hp so 10 hp is equivalent to one point of attack right so for an example 
uh, if I wanted to reach a bonus, you know, a pseudo bonus of another 7k attack, right? So right now he's got 6k attack. If I wanted to put in like another 7k attack, quote unquote, not literally 7k attack, but through his HP, if I wanted to convert HP to 7k attack, you would take one point of attack, equate that to 10 points of HP right now, since I only have him at 66,000, you would divide that by, by 10. This HP is equivalent to another 6,600 attack. I can't find anything, even on the Hell Hades website, that really breaks down how the HP converts. If you guys have links, post it. Or if you just know better than I do, let me know. So I was talking to a few guys in Discord because they were trying to teach me how to build Rotos, trying to help me understand the mechanics of Rotos. And some of the takeaways I'm going to read, right? Attack to a certain point is what you want to build him to. Around 60 or 6.5k attack is where you're going to start reaching that point of diminishing returns. At that point, more HP is going to be better, not just for damage, but to help him last longer. And then his A2 is also another thing that plays a factor. It does take some time to build up, but it is still something, and then you want to have more speed. One guy told me he tried building Rotos with 8.5k attack, 40k HP, so less HP, and 280 crit damage, and he was hitting roughly about the same as his previous build with the same gear in just about the same stats, but 6.8k attack and much faster. So less attack at 6.8k attack with the same you know, crit damage, same HP at 40k and 280, just a bit, a bit faster, and he was still doing the same amount of damage. So the way that he explained it to me, and, and this is what I found too, because I did my own testing, from what I was seeing, yeah, a six, 6.5k attack is the point of diminishing returns, and that's why I decided to pump more into his HP there to, to help him with his uh, survivability from that point on. But there's so many champions now nowadays that can that can cuck Rotos. They've nerfed Rotos uh, quite a few times already, but I still think he's an absolute god, an absolute god. All right, we, we've got increased attack. I kind of want to see how hard he smashes against Stone Skin. And he smashes the entire thing off of him. <laughs> Love to see it. Okay. So we're gonna see how much Rotos does to Duchess. We got increased attack. Don't have increased damage, we'll see. All right, here we go. And 107, 107, pretty nice, pretty nice. 127, and let's get through this unkillable. 244, let's kill this Rotos for 23 only. Okay, and this one. All right, so let's try this one. Little SWK action here. All right, let's take care of... We don't want to cleanse yet because we know Uko is going to do his thing. We can't straight up just take care of Baron yet because of Joffred's passive. But Rotos might actually be fast enough to outspeed Baron so we can kill him through the unkill. Never mind. I forgot that stuns happen with, with this thing. Nope, just, oh my gosh. Alright. Now. There you are. Take care of Ibuko. revive and we are going to there you go I gotta admit I was not in complete control of that fight but I knew it was gonna work out and it did nice oh my gosh my back Oh, and I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful. Get some heals up. A little longer, dude. A little longer. You got this. All right, Rodos. I need you to proc some extra turns here, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. There it is. I'm on the edge of my seat here. All right. Let me take care of Duchess. I'm not uh, Siffy. I don't think we're going to one-shot Taurus. Yeah, let's do that. We'll one-shot Siffy. Get rid of the revive. Rip some of the max HP off of Taurus. Do a little bit of this. 
get our backs blown out a little bit more, but we survive. Got to take care of Necrit. And then just in time, are we able to do it? We got this. What was I worried about? What was I worried about? You in gold homes? Yeah. Better believe Afro. <laughs> what? Didn't kill the Duchess? Hefty, hefty. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't kill. Because, uh... His son Wukong didn't kill me? No, darn no! He just got Rotost. Rotosted? Roast hosted? Rotost. Oh my good lord. Someone pour me up a double shot of whiskey. They know me and Jay,